Okay, we're almost ready for the cutout. I do want to show you how to create a semi-rough here. And so I'm going to zoom out with minus just to, so you can watch. And then I'm going to turn my opacity back up. But on this fairway layer, we're going to create a, um, you know, basically a first cut around it. And that's usually like, it's almost like, I don't know, in the States, it's usually about three feet or so. It's just um, sort of a mower width there. But uh, you're going to control D duplicate, just like we did for the, the, the green or the T fringe. And then I'm going to um, just right click here and set the fill to be the first cut. I'm going to plus in just a little. And then um, you're just going to do the control zero to do some more outset and then page down uh, to drop the layering on it to make sure. And now you might have to cycle through because some of these other objects like the bunker and whatnot may be above it. So now it's cycled down. You'll want to remember probably or write down so that you're consistent. Okay, how many clicks was that? Uh, so like control nine gets me back. So it's really one, two outset. Remember that was a half. So that's really one meter, which is probably about what, you know, that runs in the States. You might go all the way up to two meters if you're a little wider, but I'm going to leave that there. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out with minus and I'm going to trace my rough. You have to make a decision on your course. Are you going to do your paths uh, on unity terrain? Are you going to do your paths as part of this whole cutout thing where basically everything's going to take the color of my satellite and I want my paths to be in my shapes and it may make sense to do that in some instances. In those cases we can probably outline this with like a big heavy rough and maybe come in with just a smaller regular rough. Those are somewhat decisions you're going to make. I think it's a lot easier to just outline this with some rough and then we're going to utilize um, a something in Unity to create the paths. And then this part in here between our roughs is really going to be um, the Unity terrain. And sometimes you got to take some liberties here and say this comes in close. Well, then maybe just move it on your satellite or, or delete it altogether. Um, you just sometimes you got to take a little bit of liberties uh, to make your life easier. Um, or you can try to get creative and solve all those issues. So I'm just going to go around this with an outer rough spline here. And then we'll just adjust a little bit. And then I'll show you how we're going to cut out our first hole shapes and then move to the second hole here. So I'm going to fill this with a regular rough. That's Remember, hover over here. It just tells you what it is, regular rough. I'm going to page down to drop that uh, so that we can see it. The other thing you can do is drop the whole layer ordering. If you do uh, object lower to bottom, it's going to drop it here within the layer to all the way. So you raise to top, it's going to bring it all the way back up. And then lower to bottom, it's going to go below everything. I'm going to remove my, uh, see I don't want to remove my fill, I want to remove my stroke. And then I'm going to zoom in here and see. It looks like, I'm going to real quick select this bunker. It looks like it still has a stroke on it. And um, it's not the end of the world if it has a stroke on it, but it, uh, you'll think that it's going to cut there and it, it won't when it comes to Blender. I've got a stroke and now I'm not doing a, I'm not doing an outer fringe on my green. I'm just doing it that way. And so then let's just tweak this a little bit. I'm going to lower my opacity so I can see what's happening here. And I need to add a point in here. So double click so I can get around this bunker. I'm going to um, plus in here. So it looks like that didn't create a movable point for me. There it is. So you're going to, I mean, in this part it's tight. I want to get close to that path. So I might add a few points and it doesn't really matter. It's, you know, this is the Bob Ross of uh, course course design. Do whatever you want. Whatever makes you feel good. Happy little trees. You know, maybe we're going to do this here. Do that there. I just, no stress. Okay, so that's pretty good. One thing I will note, uh, let's put the opacity back so I can show you. Try to get your shapes a little far enough away from each other. It's okay. It'll still work, but sometimes trying to generate some uh, 
topology, some vertices between there. It, you know, Blender may have a little, it's just tight. You don't want to give too tight a spaces for some things. Um, it'll turn out typically okay, but you don't want to give the uh, computer an opportunity to do something weird with your stuff. And then same like near water, um, ultimately, you know that terrain's going to curve down and you'll just want to give um, a little bit of breathing room uh, for your shape so that when this conforms to the terrain, it's not like it's falling into the water or something like that. So anyway, we're done here. So let's go and show you how we need to properly uh, cut out shapes. And that's going to just be in a separate video here.